spirits in the basement. According to exorcism experts, demonic possessions are surging around the world. You have to admit that things are more chaotic in our world than ever before, and a good part of it is because of these demonic forces. The number of demonic possessions around the world is surging and reaching emergency levels. Exorcism experts have told Pope Francis, and what yet what most people don't realize is that they are dealing with spiritual entities and dark energies. As a spiritual advisor, I've been doing spiritual cleansing for people for many years, and I recently had a demonic experience that I cannot forget. A lady, Josie, who has been my client for several years, started dating a man named Roy. She sent me pictures of him, and when I saw him, I knew that there were demonic attachments on him. It would not be something that she wanted to hear because she was so desperately wanting a relationship. I told her if she ever stopped seeing this man to let me know, and I'd tell her all that I had gotten about him. Many months later, Josie contacted me and told me that she was not seeing this man any longer. Of course, she wanted to know what it was that I had seen. As gently as possible, I told her that he had spirits on him that were not good, and it was not for her best interest to keep seeing this man. When you are intimately involved with someone, you can take on the spiritual attachments. She reassured me that she was finished with him. Now we fast forward to a month later, and she told me, that she was talking with Roy and that she had told him some of what I had gotten on him and he would like to have me cleanse his spirit of all negative energies. I was not real pleased that she had told him this, but I was willing to help him nonetheless. Roy called me to arrange an appointment and I told him that he had to do some preparation for this spiritual work. I wanted him to be in his bed, lying down, with bowls of salt in all four corners of the bed. I wanted him to listen to my meditation video while relaxing on the bed prior to our appointment. I went over this several times to make sure he would do it beforehand. He promised that he would have everything ready as I had instructed. At the time of our appointment I called him and I could hear a vacuum cleaner going and he told me that he was in my client Josie's basement and was cleaning up. I was not happy because this was not where he should be and he was not following any of the instructions I had given him. Negative spirits love basements because of their darkness and this guy was right in the midst. At last I got him to lie down and I proceeded to do my spiritual work. This was going to be a bigger battle than I had anticipated because of him being in that basement. I worked on his spiritual and physical self using light and energy. Suddenly, there was a loud growl on the telephone. It sounded angry and not of this world. I asked him what that was, and he, he said he did not know. I knew what it was. The negative spirits were not happy with the work I was doing and making them move out of their host. I continued working more focused than before as I knew what I was fighting. When I finished, he said he really felt relaxed and better. It surprised me because of him not being prepared properly. I was grateful that what I did worked. Thirty minutes later I received a phone call from Josie. She was highly agitated and asked what I had done because she said she felt something come into her body when I was doing my spiritual work and she had a severe migraine headache and was just felt terrible all over. It was clear that when the energies were removed from Roy, they found the most convenient vessel, which happened to be Josie. I told her to continue using white light on herself and praying. The only way I could be of real help is if she did a full service with me. I do not like to do this type of work frequently, and definitely not just after finishing what I had done. I have to make sure that I'm well protected before and after this type of spiritual warfare. An hour later I received a call from Roy, and he was all upset that Josie was feeling so miserable and wanted to know what I, what could be done. I told him the same thing I told her. Turns out the two of them had been playing around with communicating with the deceased. No wonder there was so many negative energies in her house. Any time you invoke spirits, you have to understand what you are doing and how to thoroughly protect yourself. 
If you do not know what you're doing, you can cause harm to yourself and others subject to these demonic forces. People see channeling and ghost stories on television or in movies and think it'd be fun to do. This is not a game to be played with. Communicating with the deceased is serious, and if you're not trained or experienced in this work, you leave yourself open to any spirit that may be passing by. I'm telling you about this experience so that you understand what may be going on with you or someone you know. I have not heard from Roy since that night and really no, have no idea what happened afterwards. I did hear from Josie and many things have gone wrong for her that should not have occurred and I feel it comes from associating with demonic forces. I gave my best warning to her and she just didn't believe it or receive it. I am happy to say that Josie turned her spiritual life around with my private counseling and in time she did find the man of her dreams and got married. They are happily together in a loving and giving relationship. If you feel that you have spirits attaching themselves to you and want help, I'm available to do this work. And yes, I do it by phone. I do not need to be in your presence. I awful, often do spiritual house cleaning by phone. I've been working at this over 38 years and I know that I'm able to do things that many others cannot. This is one of the gifts that I've received from the Creator. To sum it up, do not play around with things you do not understand. You may get more than you thought. Consult me before delving into spiritual matters. If you feel that you have spiritual attachments, remember I do special services for this and the spirits do leave. You may think it's fun to watch shows or read books about vampires, ghosts, demons, and other supernatural beings but they are quite dangerous and are opening you up to possible demonic attachments or attack. In a private session, I can help you understand the following. What are entities? What do entities really want? Where did they come from? What's the truth about black magic, lost ghosts, spirits? What causes entities to show up in the first place and attach? Are entities dangerous or harmful to me or my family? Should I be afraid or should I just ignore them and hope they go away? To recognize when you've been attacked by entities. What on earth just happened here? Can I clear entities myself or do I have to have someone do it for me? Do you think you have spirits attaching themselves to you? Here's what I can help you with in a private session and provide you with the spiritual tools. Clear all negative energies and entities. Feel higher states of being and vibrations. Achieve more clarity, energy, motivation, and focus. Release all negative effects of demons, aliens, entities, black magic, and now to keep them away forever. Heal relationships that have been affected by negative influences. Enjoy feeling safe, protected and empowered. Experience life to the fullest, experiencing more joy, miracles, and blessings. Please remember the spirits are walking right beside us and you want to be connecting to the spirits of the, design, of the divine. If you feel that this video was of value, please click a thumbs up. And I thank you for taking the time out of your life to listen to my video. Many blessings. This is Cherokee Billy.